It was a Saturday, a uh, regular Saturday afternoon. I'd actually been in the adoptions lobby. Here is this dog who was, you know, in immense pain. Her eyes were four times their natural size. It looked as though everything had out really fallen apart in her eyes. But I walked in there and she smelled me and just laid her head on my lap and started licking my face. And that was enough for me to say, oh goodness. Lucy arrived with chronic severe glaucoma in both eyes. The swelling pressure is on the optic nerve and it's just extremely painful. The end result for relieving the pain is having to remove the eyes. That's the only option for her because the glaucoma had been so long standing. And we don't really know why glaucoma happens in people, dogs, whatever, but when a person or an animal gets glaucoma, it's very easily treated just with some simple drops. The love, even before her surgery, when she was in so much pain, she just had so much love. Her original owner apparently had Alzheimer's. The adult children are the ones who had gotten her permission to bring the dog in because the owner was going into a hospice type setting. Lead the way. She learned the layout of our apartment, where everything was, within 36 hours. She would lay on the back of the couch, just stretch out on the top back of the couch, you know, smiling at us, um, like it was nothing, like, like she could see. You want to make sure that your home is, is ready for an animal with special needs. They have as much love, sometimes even more love, because and they, they've they gone through some sort of adversity, but they still keep going. She chose me, and that was it. She chose me. Uh, I, I, she showed me love, and I fell in love. You know, I see so many animals every day, but, she hit me in a way that no one else had.